Hello everybody, back again. And this story is kind of a cool one to me. A lot of times you play a game and you're like, man, wouldn't it be cool if someone, if this was a real device someday or if this was something cool. But anyway, a, a, somebody has made, a team has made a fully functional Pit Boy 3000, which of course is from the game Fall 3. Has emerged from uh, the vault of Team Rio, a five member group of people. Uh, basically the, the device can display relative humidity, altitude, longitude, and latitude. Atmospheric pre atmospheric pressure, uh, ambient temperature, object temperature, and of course radiation levels. It was created as part of NASA's uh, Space Apps Challenge, which asked designers to create wearable technology for future space travelers. Uh, now, what they said about this was, we wanted to make a piece of popular science fiction into reality, so we chose the Pit Boy 3000 from the game Fallout 3. Uh, the team wrote regarding their entry. The goal was to bring environmental sensors into easy-use cup device that could help aware determine if their environment is safe for navigation or helmet removal. And uh, so this is one of those cool things where there's a there's some kind of challenge and uh, innovate you know innovative and creative people find a way to make something happen that people say wow there's no way someone's going to make a device like this but yet with today's technology. You can pretty much make anything if you're creative enough. And in this case, a Pip Boy 3000 is kind of cool. You know, you, all those readings if you ever need, especially, obviously, if you're in space travel and stuff, that would be very important. And uh, it's just cool that they made it. Obviously, there's a video showing the device. And obviously, if you're a Fallout fan, you'd love to see what this looks like. Uh, playing someone who's played Fallout 3, it's cool they made it. I like it. And uh, it would be cool if other devices were just made. Again... I would not necessarily ever want to see something like this go on sale because the price of something like this would be really, really high. It would be incredibly high, right? But it's just cool that uh, people see something made in a game, like, wow, I would like to make this, and they find a way, they get together, they find a way to make it. Using, obviously, different technologies, different stuff, and putting it together, and bam, there you go. So, what do you think about someone making a Pit Boy 3000? Would you love to see one? Or, yeah, would you love to own one someday? Again, uh, one of the cool things about science fiction or anything else is they can always like go crazy with things in the future, and you think, "Wow, that is never going to happen." And then the minute you think it's not going to happen, bam, it happens, right? How many people thought we live in a life with the internet now and your cell phones, where basically someone can get a hold of you at any time and any place you're going to be at? If you would have said that 20 years ago, you would have thought someone was crazy. Of course, saying 20, 30 years ago, we had the big old brick as a cell phone. So, anyway. Love to hear you guys' thoughts like always, and I'll talk to you guys later.